Europeans got the outline of Africa down pretty quickly by sailing around it, but the interior was another matter because of difficult terrain, disease, and certainly resistance from native people, it took many hundreds of years until the interior was properly mapped. One of the largest fallacies ever to appear on a map was the mountains of Kong, which stretched from the west coast of Africa near Guinea all the way to Ethiopia, a distance of more than 3,000 miles. They were first on a map done in 1798 by James Riddell, who had been working with explorer Mungo Park. Park worked mostly in the Guinea area, and there were some low hills there, which conceivably could have been foothills of larger mountains, but no European never really knew. Nevertheless, the mountains of Kong appeared on Rennell's map. This was copied by many others for most of the 19th century, and some map makers even combined the mountains of Kong with the equally mythical mountains of the moon, supposedly the source of the White Nile River. Finally, in the late 1800s, a French explorer, Louis-Gustave Binger, proved that there were indeed no such mountains.